He never wanted kids. I always wanted a big family. I thought if I got him involved in the PTA, I could change his mind. Freaking kids! Coming to my lot again, go ahead! I'll make sure you don't see the sixth grade! Damn you! I didn't know what the PTA was before the wife suggested I get off my ass and do something. I figured, heck, Jim, these are your people. Reach out to them. Protect their lawns. Mr. Longwood came in one time in an effort to connect with the children, I guess. Uh, you know, paint with them, read with them, the usual teacher-student activities. How'd that go? Hi, kids. Uh, well, little Aaron Becker has a problem. He can't hold a paintbrush steady, and he accidentally got some paint on Mr. Longwood. Did he take it wrong? He called Aaron concentrated evil. Oh, Jim. Jimmy Jimbo is an interesting character. I, I believe his heart is in the right place, but I also believe that I am not alone in understanding that he's, he's doing this primarily to develop his landscaping business. Do you think he'd make uh, good PTA president? Well, if you were, would you vote for me? I, I think I would prefer Hitler. Oh, honey, I just know it. You're going to make the greatest father. I mean, PTA president. Quiet, honey. They're about to tell me I won. <laughs> Next time, whack the lip. In local news, the PTA election results are in, and Bob Sheridan has beaten the pants off of Jim Longwood, 346 votes to two. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't seen a beating this bad since the 1993 L.A. riots. Jim, if you're such a failure at this, I feel bad for your sex life. Sorry, Mrs. Longwood, I hope things get better. And if not, my number is 555-3456. I can't believe I lost. I worked hard. I did everything I could do to win. I even talked to children. I know, Jim, you were wonderful. Do you remember when that one kid hugged you? Do you remember how that made you feel? Yes, honey, I do. I had to take a shower for three hours afterwards. Where are you going? I'm going out to take care of the lawn. It's 11 p.m. Oh, right. Who would have thought I could have lost? My platform was flawless. I mean, I taught these people how to groom their lawns and how to keep it free from parasites. Uh, isn't it supposed to be about the kids, Jim? Oh. The people have spoken. They have chosen the right man to be their next PTA president. Now, Jim's a great guy and all that, don't get me wrong, but, uh, and he does good work on the lawn work, but, um, well, let's just say he'd make a shitty father. It's a shame for Jim. I mean, even though he didn't have the best intentions, at least he put forth the effort, which is more than most people do. Thank you for your time, Miss Avery. We really appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> ah, God, I'm glad that's over. I do not know how much longer I could have been shoveling bullshit to you. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. You want one? Well, I mean, really. Who didn't see that coming? I mean, we, after all, are not entirely a community of boobs and nincompoops. There are some boobs and income poops, but we're not a community. I still wonder, though, who were the two who voted for him? I can't believe that Niles didn't vote for me. After all we'd been through on the campaign trail. After all the work I did on his lawn. He goes and votes for Bob Sheridan. Bastard. 
Wait, what? Does he really think I didn't vote for him? Why the fuck would I vote for that capitalist sex toy Bob Sheridan? I... You know, this is how it always happens. I, I help out and I get repressed by the man once again. You, you know, it doesn't surprise me in the bloody least. I went through hell and back to just, to help out a friend, you know. He didn't pay rate for the film I'm using on this fucker, right? He shat on me, wiped it off, and used it on the goddamn lawn. That's exactly what the fucker did. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Fuck him and fuck you. Turn this shit off. It's my camera. I said turn it off. Do it! No. I didn't vote for Jim. Yeah, I know. I know, that's horrible. My wife doesn't even vote for her own husband. But, you know... These last few weeks have been a real eye-opener for me. Now I know why we never had kids. There he is! Yeah! Jim would be a shitty father. So now that you lost Jim, uh, what do you have planned? Well, I figure, how could I open myself up for new clients? So, I've decided to hit the birthday party circuit. <laughs> There's always tons of parents at children's birthday parties, right? <laughs> There's also tons of kids, too, you know. Oh. Damn it!